What's up everybody, it is Amrinder Singh. If you are first time on this podcast, let me tell you something. This podcast is all about colloquial Punjabi, where I teach how to understand a Punjabi near a speaker and how to communicate with them. If you are struggling to understand a Punjabi near a people, it's not your fault. Actually, it is the fault the way you are learning. Probably you are learning wrong type of Punjabi, which is like a formal Punjabi or textbook type Punjabi. This is not how we talk. We talk differently. We talk in colloquial Punjabi or you can say conversational Punjabi. There are a lot of differences between a textbook type Punjabi or you can say formal Punjabi versus the colloquial Punjabi, the way people talk. So, if you are ready to learn colloquial Punjabi, then let's kick this thing off. Today, I am going to give you really important tip on masculine and feminine. Because you guys know, if you are listening to my podcast recently, basically the beginner podcast when I make, so you would notice when you make sentences in Punjabi, so... We have ending, the sentence ending as a masculine or feminine, right? And these ending depends on a pronoun you are using. Are you using a masculine pronoun or a feminine pronoun? It is also depends on like object. Is a masculine object or is a feminine object? A lot of you guys are confused because sometimes what happens a pronoun could be a feminine let's say you are a girl and now it's pronoun if you're using man is feminine pronoun right but the thing is the thing you are talking about it could be probably masculine right now a lot of people get confused in this situation because now they don't know the ending of the sentence right because every time when you speak Punjabi the ending of the sentences which we do mostly with the verbs right where verb is going to be at the end and now the verb structure it changes according to pronoun or object if it's a masculine then it's going to be a masculine at the end right now the problem is how would you know you need to change the verb structure according to pronoun or object. This is the real confusion. A lot of people getting confused, right? Because you don't sure if a um, uh, pronoun is feminine and object is masculine. Now you don't know which need, which thing we need to focus, right? So you need to change it in masculine or feminine. That's what we are gonna crack down today, right? And it would make your life so easier, right? This kind of stuff, you don't find them in the books. The book doesn't explain that thing. And if you think, or maybe if you read in the books, maybe you learn from a teacher, let me know. Because most of the teachers, they taught, they teach like a form of Punjabi, they don't tell. And I'm going to also put the poll in the description if you listen to this podcast on spotify you can check out and you respond me i'm gonna also ask you a question and i'm gonna also make a poll the thing is i want to ask you you let me know what i'm teaching you right now you are hearing it first time or you learn it already you know it already you learn it through a book or teacher you let me know or you just learn by yourself Figuring, out, figuring it out or do you just know automatically this is how it works you don't know why it's like that like we mostly the native speaker the Punjabi native speaker they just speak this kind of sentence cracked automatically we don't think about that and we don't know why is that right I also didn't know that so until I started making this kind of podcast when I started teaching like uh, Punjabi people, 
not Punjabi people, I mean English people. When I start teaching Punjabi to English people, I figured out. I also figured out recently when I was thinking about this thing. Okay, why sometimes a sentence is ending because it's the main focus on the object. We don't care if a subject, basically a pronoun, is basically a masculine or feminine. We don't care about that. Mostly, so, not mostly, like sometimes we focus on the object. Now we change the thing, call the verb according to the object. But sometimes we completely ignore the object and we like change the ending of the sentence according to pronoun. And that's what I was thinking. So I figured out. I can't say everything, but most of the stuff I figured out, I'm gonna tell you right now. And if you use this technique, I think 95%, more than 95%, your sentences ending is going to be correct if you crack this down. And this is one of the most important episode it is. I want you to share this episode with everybody who is learning Punjabi. This is really important and it would make your life so easier. Like if you are kind of that person who speaks some kind of Punjabi, it's really beneficial for you. Even those people who are still beginner and if they figured out this thing earlier and they don't struggle with Punjabi. Basically, the main struggle when somebody starts making sentences, the main struggle is even they learn some kind of vocabulary when they put sentence together so they make the mistakes again and again with this thing like uh, they don't know how to ending the verb is ending as a masculine or feminine because they get confused all right so that's what i'm gonna tell you if you are listening to my recent episodes basically the beginner episode i made for those people who are beginner you would, not, you would know, I'm teaching the verb structure, how verb is going to change, right, in different uh, tenses, in present, past, stuff like that. That's what I told, like I told how it changes in past, how it's going to change if it's a, if it depends on masculine or feminine. But in this episode, I'm going to tell you, like how would you know the sentence is it depends on um, like a pronoun or object, right? Okay, so now thing is, so all right, now if you are gonna make a sentence in a present, right? Any kind of present tense is a present, it could be present contingent, present simple, whatever, or even in the future, right? If you are gonna make a sentence in future, in that situation, your main focus, basically ending of the sentence, going to accord, accord, is going to be according to like main subject, which is pronoun, right? In that time, you don't depend the sentence on, basically you won't make the sentence based on object. You basically ignore the object. The ending is going to be on the subject. If I give you an example, let's say you're gonna say I'm drinking a tea. If you you if you are a guy, you will say me ja pi janna, right? Me ja pi janna. Or you can say me ja pi reha, right? Or me ja pi reha, whatever, whatever the uh, the structure you're gonna use. We personally use pi janna. All right, Maja pi janna. The ending I'm like a doing janna pi janna, right? Which means I'm drinking a tea. Now the cha is a feminine word, but I'm ending is janna because this sentence it depends on a pronoun which is ma mas guy, a ma so I'm is masculine, right? It's janna. If it is a girl, she would say Maja pi. Janniya, she would say Janniya. Now, you can look, it is changing according to pronoun, all right? Same in the future. If you want to say, I will drink the tea, I will say, Maja Piunga, right? Maja Piunga. 
because I'm a guy. If it, there was a girl, she was a match of Piyongi, right? The full structure change Piyongi. So now in the present and future, it is on depends on the subject, main subject, or you can say pronoun. You know, sometimes there's no pronoun. Sometimes maybe you are choosing somebody's name, like right, like David Jaffe, or like David will drink the tea. So, yeah. So it means that David is the main subject. So the ending is ending is going to change according to the David because David is a guy, masculine, then it's Puga. All right. So present and future is. Basically, change the ending on the subject or pronoun. In the past, past is a little bit more complicated. Not that complicated. In the past, mostly the ending change according to like the object, but not all the time. I'm going to tell you not with all things. I'm going to also tell you what kind of thing. It also depends on. Subject or main pronoun, but anyway, most of the time it's going to change according to the object. If I give you an example, if you wanna say, yesterday I drank the tea, right? If you were a guy, you would say main kal cha piti, all right? The verb pina is piti. Now it's not pita. Even you're a guy, you say piti with the child's feminine noun. The sentence structure, the the ending of the sentence is depends on object because child's feminine, right? So it's main cha piti. If there would be milk, which is masculine, I would say main dud pita. If it's water, I would say main pani pita because pani is masculine. If it's just a girl, she would say like like I drank the water. She would say. My party pita. Even she is girl. She is ending with pita because she is talking about party, which is masculine. So that's why it's ending with that. All right. Now, when is going to change the ending of the sentence? When is going to change according to object? All right. So in some situations, uh, maybe there would be more, but. I don't know what I know for sure. If you are gonna make a sentence, if the verb basically a verb, you are going to choose it related to moment of your heat. All right, that time it is going to change according to the subject in the past. All right, then it's it's one depends on the object. All right. For example, if I wanna say, I brought the tea, right? I brought the tea for you. Now, in the past, I would say, "Ma tere baate cha le aaya." All right, le aaya is guy. If you are going to say, "Ma tere baate cha le aayi," all right. Now, the, when I say, "Ma tere baate cha le aaya," you notice the cha is feminine, but I say le aaya. Because I'm the guy now, it's changing according to a subject because I am masculine, right? According to pronoun, whatever you want to say. So the thing is, the verb I'm using, leaya, leaya means proud. When you bring something, like let's say you are bringing some kind of gift, whatever you want to say, you are bringing some kind of gift to your friend's house. Now the activity you are doing is related to your feet, all right? Even you are driving a car, but you still have to use your feet. Basically, leona leona means bring something. You have to move your feet. So, in this situation, you it's going to depend on the subject. Like, kya, kal mein chhair kya, all right? You say kya. Now, which Kya yeah, means like I went, I went, right? So again, it depends on your feet. Kya. Yeah. Maybe there would be few more. Basically, these kind of stuff, like these kind of words, which relate to your feet movement. That time is going to on the subject. If I give you another example, 
let's say you just want to say uh let's say that we're going to take the same same verbs like we were talking about majapiti right you said majapiti i drank the tea all right what if you say majapi gaya you ask me like tu ja piti or pili i will say ha majapi gaya right now the verb is pi kiya now is changing according to me because i'm a guy pi gaya if there would be a woman she will say majapi ki right now even you are using the ja right but the thing is what you are saying the ending the ending you are using basically two verbs p right pina drink so you say p kya what it shows it means you drank the tea now you has gone or you has been left right you has left or you has gone two you are describing two activity you drank and now you went away right or you has gone now because the ending verb is related to your feet activity because you move right that's why it's changing from the subject main ja pi gaya you will say main ja pi gi all right even you can see the difference when you say main ja pi ti all right it means you just telling me you drank the tea if you say main ja pi gaya it means you telling me you drank the tea now you has gone away from that place where you drank the tea you are not on that place you drank the tea and then you left right so it would make so much easier to make sentences if you keep in mind that thing all right so in a future or in a present maybe i don't know if there's some sentences uh, which is going to depends on object but i don't think so there would be some sentences that might be i don't know they're not in my mind at this moment because this thing is not in the books all right and this is not we learn in the school so i don't know it's i'm just figuring out myself right i figure it myself when i'm teaching to like people one on one they ask me question why is there like stuff like that then i try to figure it out so i figured this out so so far what the information i have when you're going to make a sentence in a present or future the ending of a the uh, ending of the sentence is going to change according to pronoun is a masculine or is a feminine is a masculine plural or is a feminine plural all kind of stuff it depends on main subject all right in the past mostly it depends on the object all right if you talk about in the past mostly it's going to change object but unless only one verb if the verb is basically related to your feet movements then it's going to depends on the subject again most of the verbs change according to object in the past but if the verb is related to your feet activities the moment not feet you can say moment activities all right so then it is going to depends on most more on the subject or the pronoun but if there is some other sentence so you're going to talk about, let's say you want to talk about in past something like you you used to do before but no longer doing that kind of stuff right that time when you're going to use that time also the verb is going to change according to subject like if you're going to say i used to play football when i was a kid hey right? you will say jado main chota hunda si football khedda hunda si if you are a guy hunda si if you are girl you say jado main choti hundi si main football khedi hundi si right i also made a podcast about it when we use hunda si or hundi si right hunda si and hundi si means we use when we choose to do something in past but no longer doing those kind of activities right so even if you are making these kind of sentences it's going to according it's going to change according to the subject the pronoun all right and every sentence is going to end with like a hunda si or hundi si all right if it's plural masculine plural hundi si right so i think i made a podcast about it you can check it out in in all the episodes so i don't i don't know the number but it's there so if you think you are learning something new from this podcast 
प्लीज सपोर्ट दिस पॉडकास्ट ऑन फेट्रियन और थ्रू फेपल आई वुड रियली अप्रिशिएट इट और इफ यू वो ना टेक प्राइवेट लेसन फ्रॉम मी दैन यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट मी थ्रू फेट्रियन और टेलीग्राम और थ्रू माई ई मेल ऑल द लिंक्स आर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एट द एंड इफ यू आर लिसन दिस पॉडकास्ट ऑन एप्पल पॉडकास्ट और स्पारी फाइव दैन यू कैन गिव इट टू फाइव स्टार इट वुड हेल्प दिस पॉडकास्ट टू स्प्रेड टू द मोर पीपल I would really appreciate it as well. Another thing, if you are struggling with Punjabi pronouns, then check out my ebook about Punjabi pronouns. All the links are in the description. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and learned something new today. I'll be back with another lesson another day.